How are you everyone? Welcome back. Uh, yes, I'm wearing a top from Tesco. Don't be dissing on my fashion taste, okay? I just want to say first, thank you all so much for all the love and support that you have been showing me recently. It really feels like you guys are my friends and, you know, not just like viewers or subscribers. And I really, really like that. It's making this so much more enjoyable for me. So, what you're doing. Yeah, I've had tons and tons of requests to do a video about makeup and skincare for the winter time because we're coming into winter soon. I was gonna do a first impressions review of this makeup that I bought, but I've been wearing it every day since I got it and I really, really like it. So I thought I'd combine it into this video for you and I hope you enjoy it. So basically at this time of year we face a lot of changes in the weather and the temperature. We have the heating on more often so you know that can dry out our skin a lot as well and I also think that we tend to drink less water because it's colder. I don't know if that's just me but the water in the tap is freezing cold and I find myself like gasping for water half the time. Basically there's a lot of contributing factors to why our skin becomes more dry at this time of year. As you guys know I was so acne prone um, my skin is 100% clear now and I've addressed that in several videos. Two of the key parts of my skincare routine I still use Clearogen, which is a three-step system and the Sonicare facial cleansing brush and the discounts that I have for those are linked in the description box and they're still valid. I'm not too sure how long the companies will keep that discount going but just to let you know um, I'm hoping that they'll be there at least until Christmas. I just want to let you guys know that there are several things you can do in your skincare routine and your makeup routine to keep those flakes that way and slay that flake monster because nobody thinks the flake monster is sexy. Can't speak for everyone, maybe some people think flaky face is damn hot but I don't. There's three things that I really rely on right now to keep my skin nice and soft and smooth and glowy and dewy and that is these bad boys. Three steps that if you don't already incorporate them into your skincare routine, I highly, highly urge you to do so, um, especially a serum. Serums are just incredible and this is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Serum. This is, I think it's my fourth bottle. I featured this in a favourites before. I have sang its praises in my skincare routine video, several other videos. The Body Shop also has a great serum, the Vitamin E and Oil one, though this is still my absolute favourite and it's quite affordable compared to other serums on the market and it is just as good. It packs such a hydration punch and it contains hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a really important skincare ingredient guys. When you think of sex, hyaluronic acid is like the foreplay. <laughs> you need it. It can actually retain so much moisture and it's very anti-aging. I think this is a good serum that you can also use in the morning times after cleansing your skin and under moisturizer. Another thing is hydrating masks and there are masks like this of course. I've also talked about this in a favorites video. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask and this also contains that sexy hyaluronic acid and yeah, this works so, so well. Um, although I do love a lot of natural masks, Honey is still one of the best face masks I've ever used or ever will use and you can even use Greek yogurt as a moisturizing face mask. I know that sounds really gross, but it contains lactic acid and that'll do the job just fine. Another thing is if you have extremely, extremely dry skin, you can go in with a makeup setting spray like this instead of using a powder. It'll obviously depend on the day and on the situation, but I like to keep powders and sprays on me at all times. This is the Vitamin E Face Mist from The Body Shop and this is my second bottle and I love it to bits. If you haven't tried one, just try one out even just go into the shop and use the tester and see what you think. Another really important step is exfoliation because if you do have these little patches of dry skin building up around your face, they be can become so, so noticeable if you don't properly exfoliate your skin. And I obviously use the Sonny Clear Facial Cleansing Brush, which is basically like the Clarisonic, except it's cheaper and it's antimicrobial, so there's no bacteria gonna grow in the brush head. It's really gentle and it just vibrates on your skin and it gives that sonic cleansing action, which is very valuable for your face. For dead visage, but yeah, I basically use that with my cleanser just once a day at night time. That keeps my skin so, so clear of flakes. I can't even explain. I love it to bits. If you do not have a facial cleansing brush or you can't currently afford one or get one for Christmas, 
A konjac sponge is a great cheap alternative, all natural. You can also add brown sugar to your cleanser and I used to do this a lot actually. The brown sugar kind of dissolves into it and it contains one of those good skin acids anyways in uh, brown sugar and it's a really good way but just make sure that you are keeping your skin exfoliated without over exfoliating it and scrubbing the crap out of it with a towel every day. Overstimulation can be quite bad if you have problematic skin so yeah. Just find your balance and keep tweaking your skincare routine until you find that your hydration levels are good. Always remember you can get free skin analysis done in a lot of pharmacies and in a lot of department stores. I've gotten a couple of them done now and my second one my hydration levels were higher than my first one so that was a good thing. So on to my winter foundation routine. I got these a few days ago from Bare Minerals, the Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation and I also picked up the powder and the concealer and the brush. Now I will begin with the foundation. So this comes with this brush here which has a little well in the middle and Bare Minerals say that this is better for applying this because it doesn't soak up as much of the foundation. It is called their Perfecting Face Brush, but in all honesty, I wish I did not waste my money on this. It was way too expensive for a brush, and I've since watched other videos of girls on YouTube who use this foundation, and they all just use their regular foundation brush, so uh, yeah, I'm not blown away by this brush in the slightest, but now that I have it, I'm going to be using these two together. What I love about this foundation here is that it is doubles up as a skincare product. So it contains some really great ingredients that are great for the skin. It's a serum foundation, which is so cool and so good when you're looking for extra hydration, you know, during the winter and stuff. It has SPF 20, yet thus far I found it okay with flash photography. It doesn't give that crazy, crazy uh, face, you know what I mean? I have my laptop here with all the deets just in case I forgot anything. So I'm just gonna look over this way and tell you. Uh, famous no makeup look and feel. Yes. Skin loving formula, no silicone, no oil, no parabens, no fragrance, hypoallergenic, non comedogenic, <laughs> dermatologist tested, uh, clinically proven to improve the appearance of dark spots, skin brightness, and skin texture. It has a coconut derived base with Jehovah coated mineral pigments and non chemical broad spectrum SPF 20, so it's a natural SPF. It also contains lilac plant stem cells and vitamin C to help reveal brighter, more even toned skin. Also, although I haven't been using it long enough to, you know, say that all these skincare things are amazing, just the fact that it contains these ingredients and works as a skincare product as well, it's already doing a hell of a lot better than some drugstore comparable products such as the L'Oreal True Match, which has a very similar um, texture. This is super runny and it's a really natural kind of like second skin texture it doesn't feel like you have makeup on yet it hides hyperpigmentation it's really buildable so one layer didn't do much for me two layers didn't do much for me three layers did a bit better and then four layers so yeah bare minerals said like you can use two drops for your whole face bullshit i'm sorry but bollocks <laughs> dare i leave that in there is no way in a holy moly box of biscuits that i could have covered my whole face with two drops. Maybe if you have like a minuscule head this size and uh, perfect skin already, then that'd be a great option. I think for girls who have super dry skin, this is gonna be a great option for you. If you have very, 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 very oily skin, maybe avoid this one and go with the likes of BB creams. I've been loving the Kiko BB cream compacts as well that I used in my last makeup video for my graduation. They're amazing as well. And you know, if you're combo like me, I have combo skin. I'm not like too dry, not too oily. Go in with the powder and the Bare Minerals powder works so well. I have had to top up. I find that like I get about say six or seven hours wear out of this definitely no more than that and I know that doesn't sound like a very long wear foundation but with a couple of tops up of powder and stuff it will definitely hold for a lot longer and I really like this Bare Minerals concealer it is quite thick and luscious and it kind of reminds me of the Erase Paste from Benefit in its texture though it's not as brightening and it can be used all around the face just to cover blemishes and stuff with this concealer it's no more amazing than other drugstore versions I've tried but I just decided to get it and give the whole Bare Minerals 
stuff uh, a go because it's so natural and good to the skin and I really do like mineral foundation a lot so please let me know if you're a fan of the bare minerals like powder makeup and also let me know what makeup and skincare products you're loving for winter because this is the two-way street people I like to learn things off you guys as much as you guys might want to learn things off me or maybe you're just watching because you're doing a poo and you've nothing else to do or maybe you like me for who I am so I'm gonna go and do my whole skincare routine now and get the face off I hope you guys have a really good day and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye if you have a big event coming up such as a party a dance prom or if like me you're graduating then don't stress if you feel good, you'll look good and you can have a whole lot of fun getting ready at the same time.